Hi guys, it's Archie Lowe. How's everyone doing? Happy New Year to everyone. This is my first review of the year. I didn't do my usual Happy New Year video thing because um, I didn't record many of the st things that I did this year, so that's why. Anyway, a lot of people have asked about this fragrance and asked me to review it, so I made sure that I sourced out a sample of it in order to tell you about it. It is Tom Ford Noir. Femme. This is an oriental floral and I'm pretty sure it came out in 2015. His noir fragrances can become a little bit confusing. There's noir de noir, there's noir extreme, there's noir for men, there's noir for women. Just a whole lot of noirness going on. So let me go through the notes. I've had a bit of trouble figuring this one out and I'll explain why in a minute. So the notes of this one when they released it weren't really shown. They didn't really tell you much about it. I think it was supposed to create an air of mystery maybe an air of please come and buy my fragrance because it's going to be really cool kind of thing but I'm taking the notes from Fragrantica because that's my go-to source so the top notes are ginger, mandarin, bitter orange and bergamot the heart notes are coffee, orange blossom, jasmine and rose coffee if you don't know is an Indian ice cream and it is delicious um, you should try it if you ever can. It's kind of got green flecks in it and it's, I don't know, it's just really, really yummy. Uh, and then the base notes are sandalwood, amber, vanilla and lentisque, or it's sometimes known as mastic. And what that is, is a really light resin that can resemble pine or cedar. So it's a kind of light woody resin as opposed to a gummy or a ambery type resin. So what does it smell like? Let's put it on. By the way, loving the new lighting. I feel like you can actually see what I look like now. This is what I really look like. I've been hiding for four years. So the first thing that struck me about this fragrance was how very un-noirish it is. And that's not a negative. I just think that when I think of, on the scale of Tom Ford fragrances, how noir he can actually go, this isn't anywhere near the top. I can think of many more by him that are darker or more noir, like Black Orchid or Noir de Noir or even some of the other um, private blends like Tuscan Leather or um, the, one of the Oud ones, much more noir much more darker. So I was left thinking, Noir? Where Noir are you? Yeah, I'm not going to do many puns today because it's just not, not pretty. Having said that, it's a really nice fragrance. <laughs> I was really surprised at how sweet it was, in fact. Um, this fragrance, is, to me, is, is one of the ones that's more about the base notes than anything else. I don't get any citruses in the opening at all, and I don't really get too many flowers either. Now, this review might be a little bit different because I feel with this fragrance that it's easier to talk about the characteristics of the fragrance and the tones as opposed to individual notes because of the way it's blended. It's blended in such a way that to me it's more of a feeling and more of a kind of, it's a fragrance where nothing super jumps out if, if that makes any sense. Vanilla is probably the biggest thing that jumps out or it's the biggest feeling of this but considering it's got all of these things in it, it's more of a character of a fragrance if that makes any sense at all. So the way this fragrance feels to me is it has that signature fuzzy, dusky feeling that you get in most of the Orchid line. So I've said that in lots of my reviews about the Orchid fragrances in particular, that the, the overall tone and character of the fragrance is something quite fuzzy. You can feel it's almost like a suede fuzzy texture when you smell it, but this one is very sweet. There is a really big dose of vanilla coming out of it. and. There, there is a spicy character, but it's really understated. I would probably put it on ginger, but it doesn't really feel like that kind of cutting or even lemony type ginger. There is just a subtle spice to the fragrance, as well as something quite balsamic. So it feels ambery, it feels balsamic, it feels very sweet, and it does have a sensuality as well. It's really cool in that way. It's a very good one. I feel like it might be one, like a baby orchid fragrance where the, the orchid line are the big sisters and the Don Dadas of the line. This feels like a baby orchid one. It's no way as bold. I think it's much easier to wear than a lot of the orchid line. And I think it's really sexy, but everyone has their own perception of what sexy is. I'll put that right out there now. If I had to pinpoint another note, I would mention sandalwood in this. 
that's giving it a powdery feeling underneath. So you have this vanilla fuzzy powdery feeling with just enough of an edge to make you know that it's a Tom Ford fragrance without it being overly crazy like Black Orchid is, as much as I love Black Orchid. This is, it's a lot more easy to wear, so I will repeat myself when I say that, but I don't really feel a floral tone at all. That's my, just my nose, I don't know, and I don't feel citruses. I just feel these certain characters, a bit spicy, a bit balsamic, it's very warm, very sweet, and it's fuzzy in texture. And that's the best way I can put it into words for you. I know it doesn't give you much, but it's a bit of a tough one. Although it's quite very, although it's quite very, <laughs> although it is, I would go so far as to say soft overall, it does go softer when it dries. Um, given, and I will have to admit again, I've never fully sprayed this on myself, but judging by the voting on Fragrantica, it's got a moderate sillage, and I agree with that from the times that I've worn it. It's not a super projector like Black Orchid. It doesn't really hang in the air in a thick cloud like Black Orchid does. This is a more subtle take on a Tom Ford fragrance. And also the longevity. It's voted as medium and I agree with that. Maybe you get more when you spray it. As always, try it on your own skin. Everyone's skin is different. But I get about five hours, which is unusual for a Tom Ford fragrance. But this is, on every facet and on every level, something a bit softer. It's only a touch noir on the scale of noirness. The dry down's really cool. My skin tends to amp vanilla, so it gets sweeter on me as it dries. It does get more fuzzy as it dries, but it might be different on you guys. As I said, you're gonna have to try it out. My skin amps vanilla, it loves vanilla. It grabs hold of vanilla and throws it at the wall. So I don't know how it's gonna be on you, but that is pretty much the best description I can give you of this fragrance. And it is a tough one because Everything mingles. It's not really anything that jumps out massively as a, I am a here note. I am the main note of this fragrance, apart from vanilla. So yeah, that's it. If you guys want to get this fragrance, head on over to natino.co.uk and .com. I'll post links below. They sell it there. Hope you guys had a really good new year. I am back. I have got some, lots of reviews planned. I'm literally overwhelmed. I don't even know what to do next, but I will get there eventually. Anyway, Speak to you guys soon. I'm out from Mono. Click my logo down there to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.